taste and see. It's the 19th of June. Um, do make yourself at home, grab yourself a cup of tea or some water. Um, and grab yourself a Bible because we'll start today um, by reading Psalm 46. Nope, Psalm 48 <laughs> together. Let's start. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. In the city of our God, his holy mountain, beautiful in its loftiness, the joy of the whole earth like the heights of Zaphon is Mount Zion, the city of the great king. God is in her citadels. He has shown himself to be her fortress. When the kings joined forces, when they advanced together, they saw her and were astounded. They fled in terror. Trembling seized them there, pain like that of a woman in labour. You destroyed them like ships of Tarshish shattered by an eastern wind. As we have heard, so we have seen the city of the Lord God Almighty. In the city of our God, God made her secure forever. Within your temple, O God, we meditate on your unfailing love. Like your name, O God, your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. Mount Zion rejoices. The villages of Judah are glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion. Go around her. Count her towers. Consider well her ramparts. View her citadels that you may tell of them to the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to the end. Let's just take a couple of moments um, to reflect on verse 9 there. To meditate on God's unfailing love. And maybe take a little mental stroll around our city or whatever city it is that you live in, take a little mental stroll round and see where God is dwelling in that city. So I'll give you a couple of moments and then we'll start with a song of confession of admitting that we need God to be with us.
fill our minds, fill our souls, that we would rest in your unfailing love. And I'll leave some time for reflection now. I'm just going to ask you a few questions um, about your week, about your day. Just make some space. Sit on your floor, sit away from your phone, and sit in a place where you can be undistracted. I want you to bring to mind a time this week where you have felt joyful. And ask God what he's saying to you through that joy. Now maybe bring to mind a more difficult part of your week. A time where you felt sad or angry or frustrated or lonely. Ask Holy Spirit to come and bring his peace over that situation. Where has God felt distant this week? In what situation or with what people? And 
can now bring to mind a time where the presence of God felt tangible and close. God, I pray you would remind us that you are with us in every minute of every day. That we would leave time and space to be with you. That we would find what you're saying to us in every sense. In what we taste, in what we feel in what we see and hear, in what we smell. Lord, show us that you are the God of the whole creation. I pray that as we head into this weekend that we really truly would taste and see that the Lord is good. Lord, would we know your goodness. Amen. Um, now as ever, I'm going to pray for our city and for our parish and for the world. Um, and there is time and space um, for you to offer your own prayer requests here. Um, oh, I'm trying to find the comments button. It's not working. There we go. Um, so if there's anything you want to say, um, please do. And I'll pray for you and I always say this but if there's something that you're not comfortable and um, putting in the comments and um, but you'd really desperately like someone to pray for you and um, do just send us uh, a little prayer request in and um, we have people who pray all throughout the week and um, so this isn't just a one-off opportunity so let's pray Father God, I thank you that you see our world. I thank you that we live in a time where um, we know things that are happening across the other side of seas and lands. But today, Lord, I pray for the things that haven't been reported this week. For disasters in smaller countries or um, political injustices, all the things that happen in countries that maybe you're with the British eye we don't have uh, an insight into. Lord, I pray that injustice would be put right by the strength of your justice. I pray that you would heal our land, that you would heal um, the land of places where natural disasters are happening. I pray that people would see and hear you. And I pray that we, in our Western focus, would have eyes and ears to see and hear what is happening outside of our Western focus and our bubble. Maybe just take a moment now to pray for any specific issues that you know of that maybe aren't being widely reported right now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our city. We thank you that here in York we've had no more cases of coronavirus in two weeks and we, we celebrate that. 
when we pray against more people getting sick. We pray against more people dying. Lord, we pray for everyone who is currently suffering from that illness to be brought back to full life and health. We pray supernatural protection over our city centre as it gets busier, as more shops open, as more people go back to work. Pray for all those people in our city who are now juggling childcare with going back to work with schools still being partially closed. We pray for supernatural strength for them, for energy, for resources. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, we pray for our parish. We pray for um, the schools in the parish. We pray for um, Haxby Road School and Park Grove as they welcome more children back. Pray that they would be safe. Pray that the children would really enjoy being back. That they would have good times of connecting that their well-being would be strengthened by this experience. Continue to pray for the work of Grows Groceries as it, as it grows but goes towards a season of change. Lord, we pray that we would offer more than just food in those parcels but that we would be able to offer friendship and long-lasting connection and an invitation to know you. And we pray for all those who are still shielding in our congregation, those who desperately want to see loved ones or just cook a meal with a different friend. Lord, I pray that they would know you with them. That they would be comforted by knowing that they are praying to the same God that we are. And we pray that they would find ways to connect. And if there's someone in your heart you'd like to pray for right now who you know is feeling isolated or lonely still, I invite you to pray for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Why don't we say together the words of the grace? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. So we'll sing a bit more. I don't actually know what the time is. So we'll just go for a bit, see where Holy Spirit takes us, um, and then we'll conclude.
your kingdom come would your will be done on earth as it is in heaven so usually we end with some liturgy um but i think let's just leave some space for holy spirit to continue to minister to us so maybe when you clock off now just spend five minutes sitting in the presence of god um, and asking holy spirit what he has to say to you um, we'll be back here at 10.30 on Sunday morning um, and look out uh, for opportunities to pray throughout the week um, on here and on Zoom and we love to pray together as a congregation um, and if you have any ideas of how you'd like Taste and See to be different please do drop us a message but I'm just going to leave you guys in this space in this time to pray and to listen so.